These are the new Be Quiet Lightwings LX 120mm high speed, the newest addition to Be Quiet's increasingly harder to explain lineup. Now, these aren't necessarily a replacement for the previous Lightwings, but at least in my opinion, they seem to be an improved version. They still exist in black and white, there is a low and high speed version, where today's video will solely focus on the high speed one. And compared to the previous gen, we got some changes that may be even important. Where the old one had an ARGB ring going around the fan, the new LX version has its LEDs inside the central hub, and then it just illuminates the wings going out. And no matter how cool that ring going around may or may not have been on the old ones, it added thickness to the border, which inevitably kind of hindered performance in one way or another. I mean, the, the fan wingspan was shorter because of that, or it had to be shorter because of that. And on paper, this new LX 120mm high speed can spin up to 2100 RPM whilst pushing up to 105.1 CFM at up to 2.51 mm of H2O. And funnily enough, if we compare that to the original Lightwing high speed, Sure, we lost a tiny bit of static pressure, most certainly due to the missing 400 RPM, but this thing pushes way more air for 400 RPM less, on paper of course. Other than that I would describe the new LX 120 lineup like a pure wing basically, so the lower end lineup but with RGB. We got an unbraided 5.4mm long 4-pin PVM cable and a 3-pin ARGB one, the ARGB one has a splitter, and the corners that might look like there is rubber on them actually don't have any rubber at all, it's just a cut in the plastic, which, yeah, I feel betrayed. On the frame we got the absolute minimum of reinforcement that you could possibly get, basically two rails on each corner, and even the pass-through screw holes for easier radiator installations found on the original Lightwing are gone. So for me, like quality-wise, let's say, I would, I would definitely say that the original Lightwing was higher end, and the new one is like a cut-down version, but which does not necessarily mean that it performs like a cut-down version. Not at all. Or maybe it does. Yeah, maybe maybe it does. First, we benchmark this one on our case simulator, a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle the air within and we measure the performance using a passive Noxia P1 in the middle. Spinning at max, the new LX light wings manage to keep the temperature at 44 degrees C above ambient. Not necessarily the best result, especially considering their 2100 RPM speed, but they are higher up than the Arctic P12, so at least we got that. The thing is though, I did expect them to land higher than the old light wings at 43.6 degrees C above ambient. I mean, at least spec sheet wise, these should be better or push more air. I guess the speed and static pressure had a bigger impact than I thought. Then we made them spin slower in 10% steps and noted down the noise and performance. Here it's a yes and no story. Compared to the old ones, the new LX model kept a better noise to performance ratio at exactly 2100 RPM, so just max speed. Ignoring the lack of performance higher up than that, of course, but anyway, going down from there, the old Lightwings immediately takes over at 90% of the LX's max speed, just so that both of them kind of tie up back together again at some point. So noise to performance wise, on cases at least, it's not bad, it's just basically like the previous gen, minus the upper punch that the older one had thanks to the 2500 RPM speed. And why ever, they are a bit louder on, on this exact point. On the bigger spectrum of course, it's not a Silent Wing 4 Pro, nor Nokia NF-A12X25, it's just not. For radiators, we benchmark fans on top of a 80mm Alpha Cool Monster Red, and we measure the water temperature above ambient. And at 12.2 degrees C above ambient, this isn't the best result, again, but it is also not the worst one. It's in line with something like the Icepack Thermal iScale ARGB120 or QX120. One of them being a very good case fan, and the other one just being a shit fan overall. The corresponding noise to performance line is, yeah, interesting. Even if there is some punch missing in the radiator department, the overall ratio looks good. It's slightly better than the Fantax M25, which was also not a bad fan, so it is okay. Minus, again, the upper punch, of course. But it's relatively in line with the Sinetwing Pro 4s, as long as you make them spin slow enough so that the performance matches. But 
compared to very optimized fans like the Nokia NF812X25 for example, it is just quite far from them. And yeah, sorry, but we never benchmarked the old Lightwings uh, high speed and non-high speed on this setup, so there is no comparison for them, but you get the point. On Reds, they will do the job in a quiet way, but they, again, lack the punch. And that's also kind of my opinion overall. They aren't particularly loud at max, so there's that, but they also aren't, like, hella impressive for their uh, 2100 RPM either. And despite the significantly thinner border and therefore slightly longer fan blades, it didn't really change that much in performance overall. So for me, at best, these Alex 120mm high-speed light wings are basically a refreshed looking version in a slightly lesser quality body, such as the not present any more rubber, like at all, or the, in my opinion, more budgety RGB implementation. It's a different way of, of shining light into your rig, so maybe this is more for you than what the old ones had, so if that makes you happy, great. But although the performance, or at least noise to performance, stayed relatively equal to the old ones, the price, funnily enough, didn't. Because I can get the triple pack of these here right now for 4260, which compared to the 60 euros that the triple pack of the original uh, would cost me right now is much, much easier to digest. So at least we got that. Oh, and before I end this, just a quick thing. What the hell is going on with the screws that Be Quiet included me here? Like, they are thick, that's one thing, but if you install the fan using the screw provided in the box, you, you will destroy that hole. You, you, th there is no way. Like, I get it. You shouldn't install a fan over and over and over again, but like, that's too much. The, the level of destruction on the frame by using the original screw is out of this world. And I, I have kilograms of screws. There are thinner models. There are way, way thinner models, which by the way are also silver. Why the hell are uh, uh, black screws with, combined with white fans? I, I have no clue who, who thought about that. But okay, this should be everything on the new Be Quiet Lightwings LX120 in high speed. And at this point, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending them over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server. So if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership. So if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to pay somebody to figure out Be Quiet's newest naming scheme. I, I'm just losing track here. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Be Quiet Light Base. That one was amazing. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.